Okay, so a big question that's been popping up a lot lately on the channel is how or what am I going to take keto backpacking? So on overnight extended hunts, what kinds of foods am I going to eat on keto? Uh, it's kind of funny to me because you guys are overthinking it. I'm eating 90% of the things you're already taking on extended backpacking trips. And if you don't think you can stay full eating these things, you have a different... Uh, palate than me because I love eating the following items and I can just eat more of them to fill in the gaps where my carbs hit before and again unless you're in ketosis or you've been doing the keto diet you're not going to even know what this feels like because you don't have the appetite you did previously so here's the staples right off the bat almonds any flavor you want the wasabi ones you can carry this thing right here weighs two and a half pounds there's thousands of calories in this very light very portable, you can put them in baggies, you can compartmentalize them, whatever. Uh, tons of fats, uh, fiber, and even protein, and then obviously a lot of salt, which is another electrolyte you need anyways. Peanuts, same type of thing. Nutrition labels are almost identical between peanuts and almonds. It's good just to mix them up so you can have some variety, uh, variations there. Uh, believe it or not, Beef jerky is really, really good on keto. Uh, definitely look at stuff that has low sugar or no sugar. There's gonna be a lot of different options, but you'd be surprised. Uh, one of my reasons I didn't eat jerky a lot before when I was on a carb diet is the salt. Salt made me bloat up and stuff, but on the keto diet, salt's a plus. So the salty, sugar-free or reduced sugar beef jerky is always awesome. Stay away from the teriyakis, those ones. If you wanna stick with the black peppers and the smoke ones, those are gonna be great. Um, another one that I freaking love up there are these little Hormel pepperoni sticks. You don't need to refrigerate them. They're perfect keto macros. They're uh, uh, 15 grams of fat, 5 grams of protein per, zero carbs, tons of salt, 20 grams or 20% 20 of your daily value of salt here. So you could eat four or five of these a day, two or three big handfuls of almonds, two or three big handfuls of peanuts, a bunch of beef jerky, and then these are my go-to. These are something that I've been in love with are these Quest Nutrition Bars. If you look at how they break down, they have 20 grams of protein, eight grams of fat, and then a ton and ton of fiber just to keep your digestion going. So you can mix three or four of these in a day, 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 three or four of these in a day. And if you can't hit 3,000 calories doing that, um, you need to take a bigger handful out of those almonds. But that's all I'll be eating on the hill and I'll, I'll love it. So again, if you feel deprived, I don't like cooking food on the hill. I think jet boils and all that stuff is just waste of time. When I get back to camp, I usually want to crash. These, this kind of stuff can keep you busy, keep you full throughout the day, and keep you focused on the task at hand, which is killing stuff. Yes, sir. Dad and Method, I'm in the building. Yeah.